It's the Phoenix, Arizona weather discussion for Saturday, the 13th of October. I'm Michael Groff. A cool, wet day ahead here for the Valley. Widespread rain across southern Arizona. Some of the rain will be heavy at times. We could see some isolated, strong storms this afternoon also. And then we'll start to dry out tomorrow, but temperatures are going to remain below average all the way through the upcoming week as our pleasant October continues. Let's dive in and talk about it. Yesterday in the Valley, 82 degrees for the high, 66 the morning low, four hundredths of an inch of rain yesterday morning in the bucket at Sky Harbor. And outside right now, here at 7.15 a.m., mostly cloudy skies in the Valley, showers approaching us. And we're at 70 degrees currently. Dew points at 63, humidity 78%. The winds are light and the barometer is rising. Temperatures around the area this morning, 57 at Thompson Peak. That's the cool spot otherwise. Low 60s to near 70 across the valley. The upper air look across the country, a closed low to the west, and that's drawing plenty of moisture into the region, and it will be the impetus for showers and storms all day today as that slowly moves off to the east over the next 24 hours. Current radar shows the heaviest rain to our south across parts of Pinal and Pima County, another area of strong storms and some heavy rain further to the west in southeast California and western Arizona. The watch warning map, flash flood watches, parts of Texas, a tornado watch in west Texas. We've had a few tornado warnings earlier for the San Angelo area. Winter weather advisories, on the other hand, for parts of the Rockies and out into the plains of Kansas and here in Arizona, we've got a flash flood watch for the valley and much of western Arizona through 8 p.m. Mountain Standard Time this evening. Right now, a flash flood warning uh, near the Quartzsite area and some flood advisories for some of the adjacent counties in southeast California and western Arizona. Convective outlook for today, a slight risk of severe storms from around Austin over to Tyler, Texas. The marginal risk for the Dallas-Fort Worth area down to Houston. Here in Arizona, we have a marginal risk as well, including the Phoenix area, uh, primarily for storms that are expected this afternoon. Could see a few of those storms put down some hail and maybe some strong damaging wind. And a look at the tropics real quickly. We'll say goodbye to Leslie after three weeks on the board. This will become a post-tropical system moving into Portugal later today, bringing hurricane force winds and torrential rains to not only Portugal, but parts of Spain. All right, speaking of heavy rain, the rainfall forecast for the next seven days coming from the WPC, valid through next Saturday morning. This shows around three quarters of an inch to one inch of rain here in the valley. And of course, locally heavier amounts are possible. And we'll get into the details of our weather now as we break it all down, look at the models. Here we go, the GFS, the 06Z run valid at 5 o'clock this afternoon. Closed low to the west, a difluent flow aloft. So air parcels will freely be able to rise through the atmosphere, form plenty of clouds, rain, heavy at times. Down at the surface today, yes, we'll call it mostly cloudy with a 90% chance of rain. It'll be widespread with scattered thunderstorms this afternoon. And looking at the three kilometer NAM, these are the CAPE values. That's convective available potential energy. And that just shows us how unstable the atmosphere will be. And values 500 to 1,000 joules per kilogram on the surface, that doesn't sound like a whole lot, but given that we'll have pretty steep lapse rates through the atmosphere, some of the strongest storms will be capable of producing some hail and some strong winds later today. Tonight, we'll continue with mostly cloudy skies and numerous showers and thunderstorms in the evening. They'll start to taper off after midnight. Lows mostly in the 60s. Tomorrow, a chance of showers and isolated thunderstorms in the morning. Then we'll see a front dragging through the region as another trough moves through the four corners tomorrow afternoon. And that's going to usher in drier northerly flow. So we'll turn mostly sunny by the afternoon and high temperatures again in the low and mid 70s. Now, on Monday, a piece of the aforementioned trough breaks away from the main flow, forming a closed low over Arizona. And that's just going to hang around for most of the week. We'll have high pressure building in over the Great Basin and the Pacific Northwest. So that means the pressure gradient tightens. will turn breezy to locally windy at times through the upcoming week. And a chance of showers and isolated thunderstorms over mainly northern and eastern Arizona. We should stay dry on Monday, though. Highs in the low and middle 70s. Tuesday, you see the vorticity chart here. And I show this because this would normally look like a pretty good setup, dynamical setup for showers and storms, but moisture will be limited, so only widely scattered showers and isolated thunderstorms, perhaps here in the valley on Tuesday, with highs mid-70s. Same thing on Wednesday, a slight chance of a shower here in the valley, better chances over the higher terrain, mid-70s for the high, upper 70s to near 80 on Thursday, the low really not going anywhere though, same thing for Friday, this low just meanders about, hangs around over Arizona, but for the most part, I think we're going to stay dry. 
And here we go to a week from today. This is Saturday the 20th, the closed low still over Arizona. A backdoor surface boundary approaching from the east. So windy conditions, a chance of showers and storms in eastern Arizona, but I think we're going to stay dry here in the valley. We'll be very close to that, so I can't completely rule out a shower next weekend, but it doesn't look all that likely, at least right now. But temperatures remain below average through the entire period. Here's Sunday the 21st, still below average and still closed low over us. And then this is the end of the 10-day forecast period. Monday the 22nd, high pressure still over the western states. Some energy undercutting it here across the southwest. And that keeps temperatures below average. At this point, we're probably in the low 80s. Let's take a look at the temperatures through the period coming off of the GFS Ensemble. And yeah, highs below average every single day for the next two weeks, maybe beyond that, we could go the entire month of October with below average temperatures. Not calling that just yet, but it's looking more and more likely with each progressive model run. That's going to do it for the Phoenix, Arizona weather discussion for today. My next video back here tomorrow morning. If you like our videos, be sure to subscribe so that whenever we post a brand new one, you'll get the notifications. Plus, of course, your comments, questions, and suggestions are always encouraged. Be safe out there. Enjoy the rain and have yourselves a great Saturday.